I wanted to take a minute today. It is really busy, but I wanted to take a minute just to talk about what I'm thinking about. This is part of my vlog. And I'm going to show you where my um, work area is. And I'm hoping that it's not too bright. Then I'm going to spin you around and hope that you don't get too dizzy as you are um, uh, sitting up on a tripod. Tell me, is that uncomfortable, sitting up there on the tripod? And I'm going to adjust all this little fussiness you never usually see, but today, just for fun, I thought I would show you some of the fuss fussiness. I've got a new tool. It's a timer. It's a little dusty, but um, I'm going to try to reduce the number of minutes on this uh, vlog to um, maybe less than five. So we're trying to do something new, and that new thing is assemble the body. Now you might say, well people assemble every week on Sunday morning or Wednesday night or wherever. That's true. And all, all the different times that we come together, uh, they're important. But there is one key time that we're missing in assembly. And that goes back to the root meaning of the word ecclesia. The word ecclesia was a common word in the time of Christ, and it meant a gathering of uh, people that came together to consider the welfare of the community. Now, true, if you bring people from all different types of communities together, they can consider the welfare of their joint community. But what about their communities back home where they come from? And uh, that's the way many churches are. They're dispersed, and certainly one church can't take full responsibility for a whole community. It takes the whole body of Christ in a community to be responsible. So that body needs to assemble. So just in kind of a spaghetti noodle fashion, I'll throw out some of the things that I've been thinking about. One is, um, we could call all of the pastors together uh, in an overall region to do uh, preaching, which I think we want to do that. That would be a real uh, blessing to them. And whenever the word goes out, it always brings back fruit. So that would be a, a beneficial thing. Whoa, how can this be telling me I'm getting close? I guess it's not really. Uh, the second thing is, um, that's going to be annoying if that keeps doing that. I may have to get a different timer. Uh, the second thing I was thinking about, what about calling the believers together right here in this community? I think that has a lot of possibilities. And create some different roles for people right off the bat. So, you know, when you just call people together without a purpose, they kind of mill around and wonder what they're doing. People have to have a purpose. So part of the purpose will, of course, be described in this toolbox, which, uh, in case anybody wonders, this is not a saleable item. It is going to be posted on my blog as um, a download that people can go to the store and get a box of dominoes and make their own. Now. Uh, uh, I'm not saying it would never become a saleable item, you know how it is. Sometimes you'd rather have someone do it for you than do it yourself, but it's not designed to be a saleable item. It is designed to be a box of tools to help people assemble and understand, give them kind of a training wheels so that they can get from here to there. We don't know, if I just brought the believers together here in, um, this community, or as many who would come, they wouldn't, right off the bat, they wouldn't know what to do. So this um, toolbox describes the basics that we should do. We 
one is our devotions. We talk in terms of seven devotions because they seem to encompass all of those, which is loving God, loving our neighbor, the Great Commission. Um, uh, of course, loving God and our neighbor, that's the Great Commandment. The Great Commission, the Apostles' Teaching, Fellowship, Breaking of Bread, and Prayer. So those are the five things that we should devote ourselves to. And then along that line, the Apostles' Teaching, what is really in the Great uh, Commission, Making Disciples, what is really important about that is we are each individually disciplined followers that we build our marriages, we build our families, and that we build up each other. So those are called the life pillars, those four. Things. And then in order to do these things, we have to have the gateway skills, which have to do with planning new things and so forth. And I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna go into all those details right now. Um, but I, I'm just contemplating what is the best way to call the body together, to see them um, connect in a new and authentic way within a community to serve the community. So stay tuned. I'll, I'll let you know what we decide to do.